because the most difficult part of applying what you've learned with algebra is figuring out how to take a real-world situation and turning it into and turn it into an algebraic equation that you can solve using the skills that we've picked up. What I want to do is go through an example or two here and show how you can take the information from a paragraph form like it's given in and put it into an algebraic equation form that you can solve. So let's take a look at example B from your text. It says that Peter rides a bicycle and when he pedals uphill he averages a speed of 8 miles an hour. When he pedals downhill he averages a speed of 14 miles an hour. If the total distance he travels is 40 miles over a total of 4 hours, how long did he ride at each speed? So what we need to do first to be able to convert this is to figure out what the question is. So what is the question? What are we actually trying to find out? Well, at the end of, this, of the statement here it says how long did he ride at each speed? That's the real question right there. The question is how long did he ride at one speed or the other? So what we're looking for is a time. So we're looking for a time. And the other information we have in the paragraph, the things that involve numbers, are a speed of 8 miles an hour. Let me underline this with a different color so it shows up a little better. A speed of 8 miles an hour and a speed of 14 miles an hour and a distance of 40 miles and a time of four hours. So what we're looking for is a time and we have another time and a distance and we have a couple of rates. So what we can use, it sounds like all the pieces we have here are involved in the distance equals rate times time formula because we have distances and we have rates and we have, we're looking for a time. So if we use that formula and we know that the total that he goes, the total that he travels is you know, all written in this statement. In other words, one part of the time he's traveling one speed and the other part he's traveling the other speed, so that that's the entire time. There isn't any other speeds that he travels or any other part of the trip that includes anything else, which means that this total four hours, the four hours is going to be the same thing as the time he travels uphill added to the time he travels downhill. There isn't any other time involved. So now what we need to do is find another way to write time uphill and time downhill. Well, if we use our formula and we solve it for time, then we could say that distance equals rate times time could be the same thing as time equals distance divided by rate. Then we can write each of our two situations using, using them solved for time. So let's take a look at what I mean by that for the first one. Let's say the time uphill is going to be equal to the distance uphill, which we don't know, right? But we do know is going to be uh, half of or part of that 40 miles. It's going to be that 40 miles after we take away the other part or the downhill part. So let's say that the time uphill is 40 miles minus the distance that he travels downhill. So we'll call it d sub d, distance downhill, divided by the rate that he goes uphill, or 8 miles an hour. So now we've written time uphill using some other information. Now we're going to do the same thing with the time downhill. Time downhill then would be if we describe d sub d, d sub d is the distance downhill, then we can just use d sub d, d sub d over the rate that he goes downhill, or 14 miles per hour. So now we've described these both using only that variable d sub d, which we could actually just write as d if we wanted, because now we know what it means. But now we don't have a different variable. The problem with this expression over here and trying to solve it as it is, is that it has two different variables, and it only has one statement. We can't do that. But if we can rewrite each of these two things, time up and time down, using the same variable like we've done here and here, now we can write this equation in the lower right using that new information. So we could say 4 hours equals 40 minus d over 8 plus d over 14, which is the same, same uh, equation as we have right here, but it's using that new information. This can be solved because it only has a single variable.